Hi, and welcome to Hull & Hull TV. I'm Dana O'Brien, and I'm joined by founding partner Ian Hull and managing partner Susanna Popovit montag at Hull & Hull LLP, an innovative law firm that practices exclusively in estate, trust, and capacity litigation. Here at Hull & Hull TV, we're exploring the issues around estate planning that affect you. Ian and Susanna, we're hearing more about the digital afterlife and how to pass along digital assets like photos and Facebook content. There have been a few developments since we first talked about virtual estate planning, including a new Google program. Susanna, tell us about that. Well, in April of 2013, Google introduced an inactive account manager program, which has been very uh, interesting to those of us who are, uh, and most of us are, in fact, affected by digital estate planning. And what it really does is it provides a mechanism by which uh, a user can choose a time frame of inactivity, so whether it be three months, maybe six months, or a year, after which time Google will automatically delete the content that's out there, the things like the blogs or the podcasts, for, for instance, or photos, as you say, videos, those kinds of things can be automatically deleted after a period of inactivity. If that's not what you want though, and you want to direct it to someone else, there's a means by which it can be sent to someone so that it's memorialized in a fashion. Ian, how big a step is the Google program in terms of virtual estate planning? Well, I think I look at it from two perspectives. Number one is it's a great program and it's uh, illustrating that the big players in the game are taking digital assets seriously in terms of afterlife decisions. Uh, which is nice and it's important to people who have created a substantial uh, body of work on the internet through the blogosphere and so on. So for those and those people who are probably in the younger age now aren't quite a, jumping into estate planning as uh, in depth as maybe some more uh, people over the age of 50 are, but it's at least a, a point in time where we can start to see how we're going to manage an important part of their lives. The second part of it though is from my perspective is it's another trigger point to make people think about estate planning. And if I've got a digital presence, it is another one of my assets that I want to manage. I want to make sure it passes maybe in a way that has some sort of dignity. Uh, and so I really like that these uh, you know, big players are reminding us to get organized, get your estate plan, even on assets such as this. And that leads me to my next question, Susanna. How important is it to sit down with your executor and talk about your online assets? I think having an opportunity to speak with the executor is always a great idea. Um, having that moment when you can actually look them in the eyes and tell them what it is that you really like. Many times though we don't have those opportunities to do it and so to the extent that we can collect this information, keep it secure, keep it uh, accessible to the executor at the end of the day, I think that's really the, the greatest we can do in the circumstances. Ian, how soon should we start getting our virtual house in order? Well, I think, again, I, th I look at what is your house? And if I'm, uh, you know, got a modest uh, house and I want to have make sure it's passed on to my uh, heirs, I want to get it organized as soon as possible. There's no harm in getting it organized. I mean, for example, Facebook now lets you, uh, as, do, as we do with Google, uh, allows you to memorialize your site. Well, you know, maybe you want to either, as Susanna was saying, talk to your executor about making sure that happens or take the active steps before to see what steps can be organized to make it happen on death. Uh, those are the sorts of things that the, uh, you know, there's also services out there, LegacyLocker.com, there's EstateMap.com, there's all sorts of online presence that you can help organize your digital assets with and uh, ultimately to your greater good and as I say, maybe it'll trigger you to get out there and get organized and do your will. So lots of choices for virtual estate planners. Absolutely. Ian and Susanna, thank you. And thanks for joining us on Hall & Hall TV. Thank you.